Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of St. Peter's Prep is brought to you by Jersey City Medical Center. A talent-laden senior class at St. Peter's Prep made their college decisions official on the eve of National Signing Day. Zion Fowler was the state's top uncommitted senior coming into this week. The three-star wideout committed to the University of Pittsburgh before his junior season began, but decommitted from Pitt in mid-November. After some soul searching, Fowler announced Tuesday he would rejoin the Panthers class of 2023. You know, over the weekend, um, my family, uh, we just took extra time, you know, just thinking, uh, you know, I've been committed for some weeks now. So really over the weekend, I really made my decision. You know, I really spoke with Underwood, uh, Coach Narduzzi, Coach Salem, Coach Signetti, uh, those group of guys right there and Coach Salem, you know, those group of guys right there, especially group of guys right there, you know, they always believed in me since day one. And um, we just rekindled and we came to an agreement that, you know, Pitt has always been home and will remain home for me. So, you know, I just had to make that decision. Between the transfer portal and NIL compensations, college football recruiting has drastically changed over the last year. St. Peter's Prep head coach Rich Hansen III said Fowler came to the right conclusion. You know, I mean, obviously a lot of schools are interested in him, but uh, in the end, they've really been committed to him. They've really believed in him uh, and they've really helped him work through this. And I think that that really says a lot uh, about what they think about him and about, you know, that trust factor that, they, that they've developed with each other. Champ Long is the quarterback that's thrown to Fowler over the last two seasons. A 2022 Zoneman Trophy finalist, Long will be headed to College Park to play Big Ten football for the University of Maryland. Long passed for just over 4,500 yards and 51 touchdowns in two full seasons as a marauder. It feels great, you know, I just trusted in my faith, I trusted in God, I trusted in uh, my coaches, the teammates around me to just push me to where I am now and uh, all things goes to God and my teammates and my coaches. But maybe the biggest signing came from Jaden Bonsu. The Hillside native will continue the pipeline from New Jersey to Ohio State. The Buckeyes, who are in the college football playoff next weekend, are getting a cerebral and versatile player. Yeah, he's just a special kid, special player. Um, and yeah, just, just brings a, a, a workman's mentality uh, to everything that he does, to the field, to the classroom. Um, has really done a good job in his time here. Eric King came to St. Peter's Prep three years ago with an imposing frame, and he blossomed into one of the state's top offensive linemen. King looks forward to being an immediate contributor at Temple University. You know, I'm going to do my part when I get to Temple. Most likely, I feel like I'm going to start. I'm going to put that work in this offseason, you know, and I'm going for that freshman All-American. Reporting from Jersey City, I'm Jay Cook, JerseySportsZone.com.